Hey, what's up everybody? I want to buy some gold, but I have to admit I am having some sticker shock. No matter what gold I am looking at, I am having sticker shock. And looking at silver, that's even worse. Now, let me explain to you why I'm having that sticker shock. Every bit of gold that I look at, and I'm shopping at local coin shops, I'm shopping online, looking online, pretty much just window shopping at this point. And I can't help but bring myself back to 2011, looking at 2011, and then looking a couple of years after 2011, and comparing 2011 with 2020 and 2021. Now, I know a lot of people will say, well, this is a different time. This is not 2011. This time is different. But... 2011 that time was different too now i know as far as gold is concerned not so much silver but you got that basil three gold is a tier one asset those things have to be considered but in my opinion you know the economy now i'm recording this video on june 15th 2021 the economy coming out of that said i'm using air quotes pandemic you know people are going back to work job reports in my opinion i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice i'm just giving you my opinions everybody can leave their opinions in the comment section below and please do while you're leaving your comment in the comment section below please smash that little thumbs up button i would really appreciate it and definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section below but job reports, in my opinion, are going to start getting better. What happens when job reports get better? Usually stocks go up and the prices of metals go down. Now, I know there is inflation, but there's always inflation. Now, I know we are at, you know, we're setting like records for inflation or going back like to the pace of inflation is going back to like the 1980s. And I know the inflation part of it is not looking great. Now, I do think some inflation that we're seeing will reverse itself possibly later on. Now, will all the inflation reverse itself? No, obviously not. I believe we will see a little reversal in inflation later, in my opinion. But although the inflation in my area, I'm just not seeing it like others. Others are reporting that food prices are skyrocketing and stuff like that. I'm seeing the same food prices today that I saw two months ago. In fact, one interesting thing, and I brought it up in uh, one of Salivate Metals live streams, is I just recently bought a pair of shoes. Now, the shoes that I buy, I buy at a specialized running store because they're just better for my feet. And the price of the shoes that I paid two years ago, the last time I have the receipt from the last time that I bought shoes was about two years ago. And I paid the same price today for said pair of shoes today or in 2021 that I paid in 2019, which is pretty interesting. But food prices, in my estimations, I'm seeing at my local stores are about the same prices going back to a couple of months ago as they are today. So inflation in my area really hasn't picked up as inflation may have picked up in some other uh, parts of the country. Now, as for the prices of gold. I believe the prices of gold, in my opinion, and that's where I want everybody to give their opinion in the comment section below, I believe the prices of silver and gold will drop in the upcoming months as people do go back to work, as unemployment does run out for a lot of people, and people are going to be forced to take jobs Right now, there's a lot of job openings, a lot of job openings that people just are not taking, but they're going to be forced to take those jobs because unemployment is not going to last forever. The government is not going to pay everybody forever to sit at home when there's no need to sit your uh, butt on the couch and watch TV all day. So I do believe no matter if I like the guy who is in the 
uh, WH, well, let's just call it the WH or not, I do believe the economy is going to somewhat pick up. Now, with the economy picking up, are we going to see more inflation? Possibly, because the more people go back to work, the more people are probably going to spend more money, possibly. Now, will the Federal Reserve destroy said money at some point so we could get rid of some of the extra uh, fiat dollars that was printed and that was given out? That's what they did in 2011, basically. You know, back in 2011-ish, when, when they were uh, sending out all those stimulus checks and printing out all that money, I believe they did destroy a lot of those dollars so that we could head off inflation. And I believe that's probably what they are going to do once again, in my opinion. Just some thoughts that I had. While it's not the end of the world if I buy gold at $2,000 with record high premiums, with gold premiums being you know right around $200 an ounce, silver premiums are ridiculous at you know for the most part $10 over spot. I'm just having a hard time pulling the trigger. Now with all that being said, I may find a good deal and I may pull the trigger on a 1 ounce, you know, type 2 American Gold Eagle or maybe a Canadian Maple Leaf. At this point, I am comparing the prices between a Type 2 or a Type 1 American Gold Eagle compared to Canadian Maple Leafs, compared to Britannia's, and it just seems like the better deal for me to buy a Canadian Maple Leaf versus buying a American Gold Eagle. Now, I know when you go to sell American Gold Eagles, you will get a higher premium. I just don't think that I am going to be able to get $60 or a $70 premium or a $100 premium compared to buying a Canadian Maple Leaf. Now, I would rather buy the American Gold Eagle. American Gold Eagles, all gold sold by the United States Mint, is comes from American Gold. So I would rather stick with said American Gold Eagles or American Gold Buffaloes. But at the same time, I do want to get the better price for my fiat dollars. But let me know what you guys think in that comment section below. Gold. I want to buy some more. But I am having some sticker shock when it comes to the gold. And I kind of do like the American Gold Eagles. I kind of do like that 3 nines, that 22 karat gold. A little bit better than I like that 24 karat gold. I do like that little bit of that copper, that copper look when it comes to the American Gold Eagles. I do. But let me know what you guys think. Give me your thoughts in that comment section below about everything. Do you think the price of gold is going to go down in the upcoming months? Because of the fact that job reports, job reports should start getting better as the months go on, as we recover from the pandemic, as people start going back to work, as unemployment starts to run out, and there is a lot of places that are hiring. One interesting fact is there's a couple of restaurants in my local area. I've noticed that are only open a restaurant that was only open till 5 p.m. and I thought that that was kind of odd because I mean after 5 p.m. you're talking about peak hour for like dinner time and they said that they just cannot find the help the workers uh, so they're only open uh, a couple of days a week and they can only be open uh, so many hours because of the fact that they can't get the workers, which is unbelievable, that they can't get the workers to work uh, because everybody is basically on, still on unemployment for basically no reason, which is just mind-boggling. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. 
gold. Am I making a mistake by waiting and not buying right now with record high premiums? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.